unfortunately, I'm going to discuss with you a recent terrorist attack that occurred uh, earlier today in Malaya de Mim. Malaya de Mim is almost like a suburb of Jerusalem. It's a 10 minute drive, if that, to Jerusalem. It's pretty much connected to Jerusalem. It's where I have a, uh, a small apartment. That's where I reside when I'm in Israel. I just came back uh, recently to uh, Toronto to take care of some matters, and I'm going right back to uh, Israel. I'll be in Malay Demim. As was discussed before, about a week ago, there was a terrorist attack that occurred at an entrance going into Jerusalem where a, uh, a female IDF soldier was killed. She was only 18 years old. Beautiful girl. Her life is now destroyed because of the terrorists. And there is a manhunt uh, of the IDF for this uh, particular terrorist. This was the same terrorist today in Malay de Mim who tried to murder Jews in Malay de Mim. But because of the alertness of a Jew who lives in Malay de Mim that was entering in with his car to Malay de Mim, he spotted the terrorists who was traveling on foot and he turned his vehicle around when he came to the guard station, alerted the guard, and what ensued was a, uh, a gunfight then. And they eventually uh, killed the terrorists. What's going on right now in various communities throughout Judea and Samaria, where you have huge support for Hamas, for terrorism, for the Islamic Jihad. There are, they're celebrating this uh, terrorist all over the place. They're having, all the way to Gaza, in fact, they're having uh, funeral processions for this uh, terrorist. They consider it such an accomplishment what they did against Israel to kill Jews, to plan to kill Jews. Now, I hope with the new elections coming up that uh, there will be a, a change of policy how to deal with uh, these terrorists. Uh, one of the problems is that the, the towns that they come from, uh, the villages that they come from, one is just across the highway from uh, Malay de Mim, Stone's Throw Away, where they have huge signs there. And the signs say, danger to Israelis, do not enter. And that's all over the place throughout uh, Judea and Samaria and these similar uh, huts, uh, just these uh, Arab villages, so-called Arab villages, where they deny Jews, they say it's going to be a danger to your life to enter. And they come in and they work. In Jerusalem, they're given work permits, or they some of them, they work in uh, Malay de Mem in different uh, supermarkets and various stores as well. There's got to be a change of policy that those who celebrate the murder of Jews should never be given work permits, period. And uh, where are they going to work? It should be none of us, you know, not our problem. There's got to be a different policy of deterrence. I hope that uh, with the new elections, we'll see a change. Anyways, uh, we do have some footage throughout uh, this video that we'll be adding to illustrate exactly what's going on with the fires that are being set, with the violence that's going on, and with the calls for violence. And it's all over social media as well. Uh, various BDS uh, social media platforms are just celebrating terrorism against Jews, against Israel, with their desire to annihilate Israel. That's not going to happen. The GDP of Israel is now... Uh, over uh, half a billion, um, 500 billion uh, dollars. It's incredible. One day it's going to be over a trillion. There's over 7 million Jews living in Israel right now, and it's growing and it's vibrant and it's strong. There's got to be a policy to deal with this terrorism with the, and with the ideology of terrorism and those who follow the terrorism. We'll see what happens in the upcoming elections. But this is an update, and it's very close to my heart because I'm in 
touch with people who are living in Malay Adem Malay right now. And uh, I want everyone to feel for the residents of Malay Adem and to feel for everyone, all everyone in Israel uh, who is experiencing anxiety because of uh, the uptick of uh, terrorism. successful taking down some BDS platforms on social media. We still have a lot of work to do. Join us, volunteer, contribute to us. Go on our website, israelnow.ca. Thank you very much. I'm Mayor Weinstein signing off with this quick message. Thank you.